Hi, I'm Marin, and I'm here to talk to you about Timeline and Subscribe. In the past, public figures and other people used Facebook pages to connect with their public audience and profiles to connect with their friends and family. With Subscribe, it's possible to connect and share with close friends and your public audience on your timeline. In this video, we'll show you how to activate Timeline and enable Subscribe to maintain your personal and public connections all in one place. Timeline is a collection of your most important photos, stories, and life events that represent who you are. It's the story of your life. Choose a cover photo and profile picture that best expresses your personality. These pictures show people who you are and what you care about. You can add life events to your timeline to share important moments from your past. To add a life event, click Life Events from your composer and select the category that best fits the event. You can upload a photo and add a date and location to provide more details about your life events. Once you have published your timeline, you can start allowing subscribers to let people you don't know start receiving your public updates in their newsfeed. Allowing subscribers lets you share your story with an unlimited audience while reserving personal updates for only the people you know well. To start allowing subscribers, visit facebook.com slash about slash subscribe and click allow subscribers. You'll then be prompted to set your subscribe settings. Who can comment on your public updates, whose activity you want to be notified about, and whether or not you want to limit new friend requests. You can change these settings at any time. To do this, click the subscribers navigation tile at the top of your timeline and click settings. You can also edit who can see your subscriber list by clicking edit in your subscribers or subscriptions tab. To set who can find you in search results, you can change your search privacy settings. Click Privacy Settings. Then click Edit Settings next to how you connect. To maximize your subscriber audience, select everyone so anyone on Facebook can find and subscribe to you. Now that you know how to manage timeline with subscribe, you can begin to post publicly. To post to your subscribers, Change the privacy settings of your post to public using the audience selector. To post to only your friends, change the privacy settings of your post to friends. If someone you don't know adds you as a friend, you can opt to not accept the friend request and that person will be converted to a subscriber. To subscribe to someone you don't know, go to their timeline and click the subscribe button. If they're not allowing subscribers, you won't see the subscribe button. Let's go over a few tips about using your timeline to build an audience of subscribers. Visuals are more engaging than text. Post photos and videos to get the most interaction with your audience. It's important to make sure that people can easily find your timeline. Start by selecting a unique Facebook username at facebook.com username. Then fill out the about section of your timeline with your job and education information and any other information that best represents you. You can use your timeline to understand your subscribers. Start by asking them what they want to hear from you. You may be surprised by the feedback you receive from your subscribers. Remember, your subscribers are there because they want to hear from you. So now let's get started. For more information about subscribe, visit facebook.com slash about slash subscribe.